William Eggleston is an American photographer from Memphis, Tennessee. He is widely credited for bringing color into the world of photography. In the mid-1960s, when Eggleston shot his first roll of color film, series photographers only shot in black and white. However, Eggleston's brilliant use of color caught the attention of many as he captured powerful pictures of the everyday. Eggleston often refers to himself as a democratic photographer, meaning that he treats all subject matter equally. At first glance, Eggleston's photos may be categorized as descriptive. He captures mundane scenes such as road signs, diners, and car parks. However, at a closer look, his photographs are much more complex and interpretive. His unique compositions and use of color, light, and shadows all play an important role in creating a certain level of depth to an image. He leaves it up to the viewer to draw their own conclusions regarding the meaning and the context of the photograph. Eggleston often does not provide any information about the context of his photographs. His works are usually untitled, without a caption, and are void of a specific time or date. He believes that explaining his photographs would diminish them. Eggleston's first photograph in color is this portrait of a boy pushing shopping carts. The golden light illuminates the boy's profile and the highly saturated colors bring life into the photograph. Eggleston is able to intensify the colors by using a dye transfer color process that had previously only been used for commercial photography. With his color photographs, Eggleston is able to change the way that we view the world by breaking the rules of photography. In a series done by Eggleston called The Democratic Forest, he captures ordinary objects and represents them in an intricate and important fashion. This photograph, for example, depicts a simple scene, yet the way that the light passes through the glass and the elegance of the woman's hand make the image come across as high-level art. Eggleston uses color and composition to his advantage. To me, there is something so captivating about this image. It makes me feel like I am sitting next to this woman, watching her slowly stir her drink. I think one of the reasons why Eggleston's photos are so successful is because the interpretive nature of them leaves the story unfinished and leaves the viewer wanting more. One of Eggleston's most famous works is a powerful photograph unofficially titled The Red Ceiling. This photograph is so revolutionary for its time because color is the driving force in drawing out emotions and creating the atmosphere that it does. While the photograph is really nothing more than a light bulb on a ceiling, the intense red hues completely change the mood of the image. It feels very intimate or secretive, almost like you're not supposed to be looking at it. But it draws the viewer in, so much to the point that you can't take your eyes away. Everything about the image feels dirty, even vulgar in a way. If Eggleston had not broken the rules of photography and had stuck to taking photos in black and white, he wouldn't have been able to create the same effects and achieve the same groundbreaking images. He has forever changed the art of photography.